Alright guys, welcome to NASCAR Heat 4. As always, I'm Sergeant Alpha. And uh, this is going to be the first uh, actual video I've done uh, with NASCAR 4. Uh, I have played a little bit. I believe I've done about six races so far in my career. I get the feel of the game and the hang of it because um, they have remastered a lot of what they've already done for NASCAR uh, Heat. And a lot of things have been different. Personally, I haven't touched a NASCAR game since uh, 2013, 2014, somewhere right now. So it's been quite a while since I played, but uh, I mean, even then, it gets to the point where I've never watched NASCAR anymore. I just got the games to kind of burn time. And um, getting NASCAR Heat 4, just because I've heard how much work they've put into it, I actually enjoy it now. <laughs> I actually like playing the game. Uh, we'll see uh, if we can find it. There we go. All right, so as you can see, they've I got the handling model, uh, track maps, nine eye transitions that you will see um, in these episodes. Uh, more control options, deeper con career mode, updated tire wear model. The tire wear model uh, it is very nice. You after about ten laps, the way I race, you can see. Uh, the tire runoff on your car as well as that yacht cars. Which I think I like because some of the older games that I played, I'm not sure about like the newer ones for you guys, but the older ones for me, like again, like 2013-ish range, uh, for me, you know, I would start running low tires, but the AI would still be fine. They would still run that line. And that's one thing I got me burned out with it. Uh, graphics and sound, I will try to uh, change up the view a few times during this race that we're going to do today and let you see uh, how nice the sound is to NASCAR Heat 4. Um, and you can actually hear the tone of the sound change uh, depending on the view because it'll sound different in the car, it'll sound different outside the car, stuff like that. So. We'll try to do that for you guys. Uh, you can draft. Uh, you have you can get drafting partners that will actually run with you, uh, but they are still trying to win, win the race, so they aren't just going to stay behind you the whole time either. So if they have an opportunity to pass you, they will try to pass you, uh, which is uh, what this next build is: uh, smarter, competitive uh, AI. Uh, they, it says they will run multiple racing lines. They actually will run multiple racing lines. Um, again, for me, the older games I played, uh, they would all try to run that high line coming out of the corners. And they would do single double file, uh, running high line all the way around the track and running that, like, perfect line pretty much. So you have to Race them and try to run that line to uh, get around them. NASCAR Heat 4, you'll actually see these guys try to run different lines. And uh, you can run with them, or if you get around them, or you just happen to have a better car or truck than them, you will be able to see them behind you moving around trying to find that line that's going to work for them the best. And uh, that's another thing I like about NASCAR Heat 4. Uh, you can run any of the drivers that are already in uh, NASCAR, or you can run your custom driver. That's the same thing as all the other uh, NASCAR games I've played. We are going to go ahead and jump in here, so I'm not boring you too much. Uh, we're just going to continue my career. I will tell you now, I run full-length races, so it will be a little bit. Uh, Hey, you see, you know, how, what the progress I've got, I've run with Clay Greenfield. It was one of three options that I was given because uh, I was playing as, uh, I was on my career on a team, so I started my own team. 
That way I can save some money and do my own team later. But this will be 134 lap race at Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina Education Lottery 200. And we are currently 7th in standings. Uh, Brett Moffitt is in 1st with 316. Ross Chaston, Grant Enfinger, I'm going to murder these names. Austin Hill, Harrison Burton, Matt Crafton, uh, us, Johnny Sauter, Tyler Ingram, Stuart Frison, I guess. That's the top 10 in points. And uh, as you can see, you know, later on, once you have kind of made some progress, you can work out your plans for the next season. You can start your own team, or you can do like I did because I'm mostly in it for the money right now. And you can uh, reserve options for... Uh, the next season contract. So say if I wanted to run another team next season, as you can see, I have an option to sign for DGR Crossley or Kyle Busch Motorsports. And uh, that <laughs> was mostly off the money. I've Because this is the truck series, and I've watched maybe three or four truck races at least to my memory in my life. And that was like way, way back in the day, like in the 90s, to tell you how old I am. Like, uh, I was so old that I was still a kid when I watched Dollar Hart Sr. run his last race. So <laughs> I'm going to get older now, as much as I hate to admit it. Uh, but you have all these things that you can race with. I digress. <laughs> uh, DGR Cross, yes. Um, one of the teams I've signed with, or have an option to sign with. Because their payout is seven thousand seven hundred fifty per race, and of course, from your, uh, with your sponsors and merchandise stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, they're all pretty happy with me right now. And the other one I have is Kyle Busch Motorsports. Uh, Lassard is a friend with me. Uh, Gillen is happy. Burton and uh, uh, the other guy that we kind of work on. Which that is another thing about NASCAR Four. Um, I can see you can have friends or rivals, and uh, friends. You know they'll they'll obviously kind of try to help uh, work with you a little bit in the race, and rivals they will try to wreck you <laughs> if they don't like you. Like uh, Rhodes, there. I believe it's my second or third race. I got loose coming out of a corner, and I actually slid up into him because we were running the high line by the wall. We're gonna go ahead and. You know, jump into this event while I talk to you guys. But yeah, I was coming out of a corner and uh, we were both running the high line and I was getting the draft off of him. I tried to pass him and I got loose coming out of that corner and slid up to him and as I spun, I clipped him and he went into the wall and I looked over and he was just going nose to tail into the wall. And uh, it took him out of the race, and uh, the rest of the field actually ended up clipping him. So he was uh, mad at me for a little while. And as you as you saw, he was back up in neutral because I had to work on that to get him back uh, happy with me again. Uh, we're going to do the hood cam this first lap, then we'll switch to inside the car, and then I'll try to do outside the car. Oh. Had to get heavy into the brakes there. Was going to run a little too high. A little too fast. Inside, inside. Alright, now here I'm coming inside, so we're going to stay up like Jeff for Jim Kaba. And uh, I'll try to redo this first lap again, or this lap again. I'll run the speed. Uh, a little bit better line that time. And uh, you can see how Jennifer and Jude Cobbs kind of pulled away from me a little bit. Because uh, she came out after me, so her tire is a little bit better. <clears throat> and that is one thing she'll have to kind of keep an eye on. And uh, NASCAR E4 is your tire wear and uh, your drafting. They can actually keep up with these guys.
I'm actually getting a little bit faster. Now we're starting to pick up the draft off the cob. And you see how the truck is actually uh, getting a little bit faster and it's handling a little bit different as we pick up that draft. Now suck at this uh, camera view just because I never use it. I know uh, some of you guys like this camera angle. It opens the wall a little bit there. However, we're going to go ahead and end the practice here. We're going to go ahead and qualify. I do have it set to simple qualify. So we get one lap to get up to speed, and then the next lap will be our qualifying lap. All right, we are qualified now. I'll see how we do. Uh, I started off running this on hard because I have played NASCAR before, and they were just absolutely smoking me being a new driver on a model team and as a team. So uh, the competition is definitely there. I'm not uh, too worried about getting first place all the time. Uh, really, I've only had a couple top 10 finishes. Everything else I've been... Let's see where that puts you. Okay, we're starting to start 18th. Uh, everything else I've been right outside the top 10. Uh, anywhere from 11th, I think, to uh, 15th. In my lowest place, uh, I had a really bad race at Martinsville. And I went down to 26th. Um, but... For the most part, we've had decent races. I haven't won it yet, but there's still always that chance. Because I have came in second place before. But we are going to go ahead and start this race and see what happens. The Sard, if you need a boost, try to jack with the Sard. Grant Effinger, I've won the pole, Joe Nemechek. Unapproved body modification during qualifying, he will be starting at the back. Here's our uh, teammate in front of us in the blue. We're going to try to stay with these guys. We have Rhodes running right here on our left. We're going to drop him behind him because he is a little bit faster than us. And you see Decker coming up behind us. Uh, we're going to see if Decker wants to draft with us. And she is. Decker's drafting with us. And that uh, draft pushed us up to Rosie again. So we're going to try to stay up here and draft with Rhodes. Uh, the O2 behind us is drafting with us.
Now we're gonna try to pick up this spot from Rhodes. Careful, Coming under the 22. Clear high, clear high. We still have that draft partner from the 02. You can see him in the mirror, he's moving around a little bit trying to um, find a better line. Probably give us a little bit of a bug draft there. Nope, getting a little hot there. Trying to stay off this other truck, and he's bumping this skin. Nope, he's wrecking us. We had to get off of him, and he was uh, getting a little close to us. So we're going to try to pick up the draft off the 22 to uh, get back up to speed. Now we're on lap five. And we're coming up on uh, Remy. I'll try to drop it under him. You got room, you're clear there. And he's on draft with us now, we're in 16th. Man, we're gonna pass up Anderson. Careful, still there. Got one outside now. Anderson's going draft with us now. Right, we're coming up on lap seven. And right now we're just trying to hold a uh, good spot. The leader's about five and a half seconds ahead of us. And you can see the head of the field just pulling away from us. We are still catching a strip in front of us, though. I had to back it down because we we're about to get into uh, the 51 there. Alright, we're here. We got picking up that draft. We're going to try getting below him. He's going to hold us off. Got into him a little bit there. It's okay. Try to get that side draft off the 45. Wow, that was bad. Now try to stay down here on the bottom under the 51. Careful, still bad. Try to get under him again. Still there. Oh, getting into him a little bit again there. We've got 20 more left. 20 to go. 
And you see how these trucks are starting to drift out the track as the tire work goes on. Alright, we finally got around the 51. He's going to draft with us now. Looking inside now. And he's going to come back around and do a crossover on us. Got a car coming inside now. And we're going to do an immediate crossover on him with the 16 behind us. So you can see this is a very heated race. Alright, we're going to try to catch up these cars in front of us and hold off the uh, 51. Too fast in that corner. Yellow's out, back or down. Now we are going to stay out and not pit. We are up to 14th uh, position. We're up four spots. Coming to the green. Be ready here. Green down now. Let's go. Got a car load now. Looking inside now. Say hi, say hi. Okay. We're moving. Now we have the two coming in to draft with us. And you see, the longer we can hold this draft with somebody, uh, the faster we are and the uh, easier we're staying up with this pack here. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to get the draft off these guys as we uh, close in on them. The thing about NASCAR is you can't uh, have the Ricky Bobby mentality. You know, if you're not first, you're last. Um, I have to wait for your opening. And we take 13th. Hope we are. Can we take 12th? We just took 12th. Car there on the outside. Can we hold it? Has the 98 dress with us. So stay in the inside view so I can see the mirror and see where they are. South slow, I'm having to get in the corners uh, because of how my tire wear is going. All these guys behind us are taking a little bit better care with their tires because they're not having to race as hard. We just dropped down the 13th. He got in under us. Like, wasn't gonna try to drop down there and block him. We're going to see if we can stay ahead of Dean and get a draft off of him. We're not. Dean's going to make that pass.
All right, so we got first, uh, 14th in that first stage, and uh, I think the highest we got was 12. We're going to go ahead and pit. And see if we can work our way back up. But uh, I'm trying to stay off these guys as much as I can. And it is uh, kind of tricky sometimes, as you guys saw. And uh, there at the beginning, we did uh, kind of get sideways a little bit. And we just kind of had to hold it, took that uh, speed hit. And I got back up to speed and managed to stay on the lead lap. Now we're back, we're going green. We lost three positions, we're back down to 17th. Uh, so we are going to try to make up those three spots and get a little bit further ahead. We are going green and it's time to get racing. We have the 51 coming up strong behind us. We're going through one. Okay, we're coming low. Let's see if we can catch the five. We'll sign for this corner. Now we kind of got in under the five in that corner. Get the 51 pushing our back door in. Car high, careful. You're all clear up top. We'll see if we can catch up and get into the top 10. It's going to be a hard race to get there. We can get uh, Lupton back there to run with us. We can uh, catch up a little bit faster. Looks like so, uh, T was going to run with us and kind of got out of the draft. Come back up. Try to get, catch back up to the five again. And if we can stay with him, we might be able to uh, catch up to 
other trucks and get into the top 10. Uh, he's a little bit faster than me coming out of the corners. That's okay. Alright, we're going to uh, try to stick with him as best as we can coming out of these corners. Ninety-eight back there is closing in. You see how much uh, that right front's coming down on the tire wear there. I was trying to uh, hold what we got now because these guys are starting to pull away from us a little bit. We're going to stay up. It's like uh, the 22 uh, spot. Roy Chastain uh, looks like he brought out the caution. You know, him or Kyle Benjamin in the uh, last place. We did pick up a spot today now. We are going to be up in 11th. We're going green. Almost ready now. Green's out, man. Let's go. Still there. Got one outside now. Clear eye, clear eye. Alright, we'll get under the five. And we are running tenth. So we can slide in beside solder. I got a little bit loose in that corner. That's why I had to slow, uh, slow up and lose that spot. Tried to stay on the throttle just a little bit too long in that corner.
98's making some moves. I know Ryan trying to pick us up, but he's gonna try to get him inside and we hold him off. And as we have less than ten laps to go in this uh, stage, you're gonna see these guys get a little bit more racy. Aggression will definitely show as they uh, try to get in a good position for the stage. Stay at the bottom here. And we just didn't have enough to. Uh, Get the 10th place back in that corner. Five to go, this time back. So we're going to try to get 10th, but uh, we might. Get a hell just outside of the top ten. Now we are uh, staying with the number five of Lupton, but I believe he is going to manage to hold us off and keep us just outside the top ten uh, for the stage. Unless he messes up and we can capitalize in the next couple laps. See those guys behind us in the mirror. They're hoping the same thing out of us. Yeah, that's going to do. We're not going to catch up in this uh, stage. That's all it takes for uh, this guy to stay ahead in NASCAR. We got a little bit too high in that turn. He managed to pull that gap, and he's going to end up holding us off. We did come up from 14th to 11th that stage, so 
Alright, we still have plenty of time to uh, make up some more positions. We're going to go ahead and pick because all the other leaders aren't bidding. And uh, this has been a pretty fast paced race. Lots of competition. And uh, that's going to stay that way the, race, the rest of the race. As you guys are all still fighting for their positions, and we are coming into the final stage, so we want to get a good finish. And we actually picked up two spots that time around. Uh, we are on lap 63 of 134. We have fuel for 30, 40 laps. So there will be a time where we have to pit before we finish the race. The only question is, are we going to have a caution where the field can come in under caution, or are we going to have to stay out for a green, la uh, green flag pit? Ooh, got into him a lot. Uh, we're just going to stay with these guys and see what we can do. The leader is 1.9 seconds ahead of us, and I have a feeling it's going to climb before too long. Stay down here with uh, Kraft and see if we can pick up his draft. Oh, got a little bit loose, came out of that corner. Looks well, like the 24 is going to pick us up and he's going to try to draft with us. Oh, oh he's going to get sideways. Off there. He wanted that spot and he went for it and uh, he got us a little bit loose there. So we have dropped back to uh, where we're fighting for 13th.
got one down low now. Still there. Got one down low now. Load clear. Still there inside. Still there. You got room, you're clear there. Hold your line, got one inside. Got one peeking outside. All right, come on. Car there on the outside. You got room. You're clear. Stay on the bottom. You got room. You're clear. And you can really feel these trucks move around on the track. And it is uh, kind of challenging sometimes. Car on the outside now. Still there. Got a car coming inside now. Still there, inside. These guys keep getting up under me and they're knocking me around a little bit and it's making me lose. That's why you see me losing position. And uh, I'm going to come back up and get it back. The leader is now 14 seconds ahead of us. Alright, we're coming back up. See if we can get under a creed. Still there? Caution. Oh, caution. We're going to stay out. Uh, the rest of the field is. Oh, looks like there might have been a wreck back there. There's four cars pitting. Uh, Clay Greenfield, our teammate, looks like he is out of the race. He is down 32 laps. We are still going to be in 13th, and we're going to be going green here in a moment. Be ready here. Green flag, green flag. Still there. Car high, careful there. I think uh, tried to come down a little bit there and 
We had to slow way down to keep from getting into him. We're going three wide now. Dina and Africa both got their positions back. Mm -hmm. Crazy back there, he's drafting with us and knocking me around just a little bit in that turn. Got fuel for 29 laps. Still there. Still there. When so 12th, we're fighting for 11th. We're going to see if we can get back into the top 10. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to switch up these views a little, a little bit for you when I have a gap. Oh, oh went to the wall. Uh, when I have a little bit of a gap uh, between cars, I mostly use uh, first person when I'm close to people uh, because I have that mirror. I can see where they're at. So I'll not come down and hit somebody up wrecking one or both of us. So if I have time and I hear spotter calling high low, uh, I'll probably try to switch views. And if I don't have time, I'm probably just gonna back down to give them room and so I can uh, change views like that. They're right back on me, so we're gonna get back to this view. No, oh, no, 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 don't go three wide. Don't go three wide.
I'm not happy with uh, the 98 right now. He tried to uh, go low to go three wide and it got me loose and we lost three spots right there. We did manage to hold on to it, but uh, we lost a lot of spots and that did wear his hairs down a little bit. Let's see if we can get back around him to uh, start working on getting our spots back. We got one back. Finger. Keep up the speed if you're going past me, dude. So kind of a question if we can keep up to these guys on more worn tires uh, where we get a uh, little bit sideways. Because I'm all over this track right now. That's why you said right front down to 37 percent. slow down big time at the uh, corner we were down to 135 we are going to pitch uh, hopefully we can uh, get in there without getting sideways again
And we're just going to try to keep up with the field here. Got a car high now. And so far, we picked up two spots. Can we hold on to the second spot, though? Once you hold it. Alright, so we're gonna come up, slow back down for this corner. There goes Dean, he's trying to make his pair up spot back. So we're going to uh, trust a low because I believe that's uh, where Creed likes to run. On the uh, back stretch, he likes to run high, and uh, the front stretch, he likes to run low. So if you can slot in with these three. Wave of off, caution's out. Now we're going to uh, stay out in my pit. Uh, you see where these guys will run together and uh, you're seeing how it'll move different lines, stuff like that. Uh, me and the truck behind me, we were running low. Those guys were running high a lot of the times. So they will look for the best line for them. Uh, they will do what they can. And uh, like I said, the later in the race, you'll see how more aggressive these guys start to get because uh, they're trying to 
uh, do well in the standings, uh, trying to get up to the front of the uh, field, and uh, win this thing. We're going to be going green this good time around. All right, we are on 112, uh, 134. Stay low, stay low. Car on the outside now. Clear all around there. All right, and Creed got ahead. He's going to give us that boost. Still there? Well, no, that wasn't Creed we were running with. Who were we running with? Alright, the 98 is going to give us that boost. Careful. Still there. Got one up top. I've been thinking that was Creed the whole time, but it wasn't Creed the no two. He's in a two, he's just not the he's zero two. Car high, careful. Alright, you're clear. Like I said, it's been uh, quite a while since I've done anything NASCAR. And this is Creed, but it's Ernest. You're clear there. Car there on the outside. Still there? Got one down low now. We've got 20 more left. All right, clear low. Car high, careful there. All right, we got into the top 10. Stay low, stay low. Car on the outside now. All right, you're clear there. And immediately lost it to the 98. Got a car coming inside now. Inside, inside. Still there, inside. Inside. Clear low, clear low. Inside. All right, you're clear. All right. But uh, you see how more aggressive uh, Creed was getting with us as we revived down the race, and uh, these other guys are going to be getting a little bit more aggressive as well. We are going to stay out for this uh, caution. We have 17 laps to go, and we have plenty of fuel. The only real concern uh, later on will be our tires and how we do with that. Looks like everyone is on the lead lap. Uh, this uh, race. There's usually quite a few that are found in some laps. Like everyone except for our teammates is having a pretty good race. Alright man, you're coming to the green. Not real, me starting on the outside. Green's out man, let's go. Got one peeking inside. Still there? Got a 
car coming inside now. Got a car load now. Hold your line, got one inside. Your line got one outside. All right, we are uh, wrapping down. That's why I'm going getting a little bit quieter as this race goes on because I am uh, trying to get a little bit more focus on uh, what I'm doing as the race winds down. If you get back into the top 10, that would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to be uh, pretty tricky to get up there in 10 laps. These guys are uh, drafting each other. They're doing pretty well. Well, you know, I said I didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, we are in the top 10. It's just a matter of can we hold it as Dean takes back 10th in the corner. Okay, Sauter and uh, Dean got back ahead of us, so we are uh, dropped back to 12th. As long as I don't drop to dead last, something like that, I will be happy. Uh, it's like I said earlier on, you cannot have the uh, Ricky Bobby mentality if you're not first, you're last in NASCAR. 
Uh, you just gotta be patient. Uh, sometimes you have good races, sometimes you don't. Sometimes uh, you have a race like this one where you're kind of in the middle for most of the race. Alright, we're coming up on uh, just a couple left. This is going to be the last lap next time, Bob. Alright, let's go. White flag. Sheldon Creed's going to come up on her back and uh, try to take that 13th spot from us. Can we hold him off? We do. Alright, so, uh, as you saw, that was a uh, pretty stressful uh, race. And uh, this will be the start. And that was the end of the first stage. Lap 61, uh, Freshman wins stage two. 116, Dean and Alpha get into it. See what happens here. Yep, that's where we get uh, Dean just a little bit loose there. And you saw where we backed off and play him out of space. Oh! Oh, Cobb got Lassard around. Heavy damage on Lassard's strike there. Okay, see if we can uh, get any more replays out of this one. 15th, nope. 11th. Yeah, it was Freshen. 14th. Oh! Ooh. Uh, apparently, Jennifer Chocob was wrecking everybody today. Oh, okay, never mind. Seven. Uh, Forrester had already got around, and then Cobb got into him. Okay. And this is uh, me, us, and Dean getting into it.
Okay, so she wrecked the sword, you know, the sword just got loose and, uh, Jennifer got into him, okay. So, uh, how you see this is a pretty, uh, lengthy, pretty fun game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish up here. We got 16,000 for that race. And we have dropped to 10th in the standings. That's this lap with Stuart Fresson. He has led the most laps this race. On the move, Austin Hill started 27th, fished 5th. And a tough break for the race will be our teammate, Clayton Greenfield. Started 16th, finished 32nd. Go ahead and finish that. And we have completed our contract for our uh, sponsor. Uh, Dale Lipton, hey, as, hey, starting off, as usual, you have ran a perfect race. We are, say, we're all getting together for some grilling. I have a lot of games later. Want to come over? Sure, we'll go ahead and compliment that. If anybody so much as touches our Dale fellow in the track, you're going to have to answer me. We are best friends. Start, start pressing. Uh, quite a few people have touched me, actually. Uh, Todd Gillen, uh, anytime I race alongside Sergey Alpha, I know I am in the presence of greatness. <laughs> Hashtag amazing. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, Austin Hill, that was some real nice driving out there. Charlotte, thank you. Jordan Anderson, what a good clean race by my good friend Sergeant Alpha. So we'll go ahead and double with that. Okay. We well, just finished race number eight. And the next one will be race number nine. And that will be uh, Texas Iowa WWT Raceway, Chicago Lane, Kentucky. Uh, okay, we want to. Okay, that's the races that we're going to have our uh, contract for. Two top 30s for uh, within five races, three top 25s within five, or three top 20s within five. Um. We've been doing pretty well, so like I said, uh, 15th is about the lowest I've been getting. So I think what we are going to do is we're going to go for the 3 for, uh, three for 5, uh, 20, uh, top 20s. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And see, oh, we got 11 frames now. So as you can see, we are friends with... All of these guys. Uh, Self, Ramey, Lessard, Greenfield, Diffle, Free, Boyd, Lupton, uh, 50 angle, I'm trying to say that, Gillen, uh, Fresson, and then we have Decker, Benjamin, Sauter, Hill, Enfinger, Cobb, uh, Chaston, Ancrum, Anderson, Forster, all happy with us. Uh, Kligerman, Moffitt, I, uh, Dean, Burton, Balicki, Nemechek are all ni are kind to us. Uh, Massey, X, uh, are both nice. Crafton is polite. Rhodes and Deegan are both neutral. And that is just uh, the different uh, levels of reputation you have with them. So, uh, we are pre on a very good temperature, about a third of the field. We don't have any rivals, which is always a good thing. So that's going to be about all I have time for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, it has been a <laughs> quite a long, stressful race, I know, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. If you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell on YouTube so you can uh, be notified when I release a new video. Uh, you can also find me on Discord in the description below. If you want to hang out and talk, feel free. Um, if you want to see any screenshots of stuff I do when I'm recording, or maybe I'm going to have some fun for myself, uh, feel free to check those out. Sometimes I post links to my videos there as well. 
uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Sergeant Alpha Five Gaming. And uh, I usually try to put some of my videos and uh, yeah, that's sweet there as well. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.